Here at the John Ryland's Library, we can use our multispectral imaging to also analyze and identify pigments in our collections. Every color reflects and absorbs light in different ways. Here you can see a spectral curve. It's quite simply the reflectance of light off the object. So from ultraviolet light through to near infrared. Use the software we use, ImageJ. We can take the results, plot them onto a graph. In this case, it's lead red, malachite, orpiment, and lapis lazuli. And you can see each color has a different characteristic curve. As part of the exhibition, we've been looking at Persian Manuscript 3, which is a book on cosmology. We were particularly interested in the light blue and the dark blue pigments. To be able to analyze the pigments, we need to have known subject matters. Here are some blue pigments that have been laid down by our conservator and co-curator of the exhibition, Elaine Sheldon. We've got a number of blue pigments, and we can use these to compare to the pigments in the manuscript. Here you can see some results. So by comparing the pigments from the manuscript and the pigments that we know, we can lay them into this chart and see that the light blue is more than likely to be ultramarine ash, and the darker blue pigment is more likely to be lapis lazuli, which was the opinion of the curators. It's important to remember that this is a non-invasive procedure. There are no physical samples taken and no damage to the material. This enables us to find out much more about the manuscript and preserve it for the future.